All right. Good morning, everybody. Back in action this morning on Wednesday. The market's Tuesday because we're in the four-day week. Had a pretty interesting day today. Three trades today, starting off red, then made two more trades after the earlier red. Let's see where it ended up in this video. Let's trade. All right, so first trade of the day was here on Tesla, and you can see this is not my normal type of trade, but I was watching the market at the same time, and it started breaking out to new highs in the market. So I went again ahead and got in a call option here on Tesla, and not really obviously expecting Tesla to break out the highs here as it's trending down on the day, but I thought there was a decent chance we could get a little jump like it did like 10 minutes prior. So just looking for a little quick scalp here on this Tesla option call. But I uh, didn't do that and started coming down to the new lows and I was just ready to stop this one out as soon as it got down there below those lows. So stopped it out for a $40 loss on the call option. So, you know, no big deal. Those can win big when, when they go right for you. So just a small loss there to start the day. Uh, second trade here was on XLNX. You can see it's starting to hit on the positive intensity scanner right below me into the 20s. Uh, it's a bigger price stock. It was a bit spready, and the range was pretty big. So I decided to uh, go to half half of a half, really, down to a 50 share starter on this one if it gave me uh, a nice pop here. So you can see a nice speed move there uh, getting up through, what's that, 196, I believe. Yeah, getting up through 196 here. So go ahead and get the 50 shares short there at 196.54, and it immediately ran up to... 198 after that and i was ready to go again with another 50 shares if it wanted to break 198 and move, make a move up towards 200 i was going to be really liking the look of that if it was able to do it and get in there for another 50 share ad uh, it ended up not doing that it kind of stalled out here for a while after that push towards 198 and then it went sideways for a long time and it kept bouncing off 195.50, 195.50, 195.50 over and over and over again. So I was like, all right, if that breaks, hopefully we'll get a nice violent breakdown and get a nice win out of this. It did break, but it didn't give that nice violent breakdown. So once it got under 195 on the bid, but the S didn't really come with it, I just put an order out there at 195 for those 50 shares and just looking to cover it out and at least get back to green on the day. So. Got the fill there at 195. Unfortunately, this one did fade off pretty good down towards 190 afterwards, but it wasn't really trading how I liked, so decided just to at least get green on the day at that point. We then sat around for a while, but then KSS started to pop here on the scanner. You can see right now it's only at about a 12 on the positive intensity scanner, but it's pushing up right to the high of the day on a pretty big move down from 51. So even at high a day, that's a almost point and a half move just before it even breaks high of day here and we're at about a 10 right now on the positive positive intensity scanner so i'm looking for a break through the high of the day here on kss and if it can give me that a good potential for a trade there because it's already extended going into the breakout it didn't consolidate or anything prior to the breakout it was already kind of extended going into the breakout so it does start moving towards high of day here i'm looking at least through 5250 i'm thinking if we can get a nice move through 5250 might be a good spot to get a starter so it breaks the high of the day there and at first it doesn't really do anything i'm like all right we're not really moving but then it starts pushing a little bit and we're pushing up towards 5250 i'm watching that 5250 i'm not going to start it before that, that's what I believe I put my limit at initially was that 50. But then once we got through the 50, it started getting a little bit more speed. That speed that I always look for moving up there, getting up into the 70s there. And I get, went ahead and started it there 100 shares short at 52.69. Then immediately ran up through 53 up into the 53.30s. I was a little bit slow at first uh, on getting ready for the second order, but it did give me an opportunity as it popped back up again towards 53.50. So I added there another 100 shares at 53.34 and I was ready to put in uh, 200 more if it pushed 54. So it didn't do that and it started coming back down uh, almost almost immediately after we got that second uh, position in there. So 200 shares short, average of 53.01 
And I'm really just looking for like 5280 in my mind. I'll go ahead and cover out a partial if we can get that. It starts coming down towards the 80s. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I got my finger on the 75% button. And then all of a sudden it makes a big fast flush there and end up getting a fill down at 5251. I then saw that, you know, I, I should probably take a little bit more off just to lock in some profit because that was a really nice move. Took another half of the remaining 50 down to 25 shares there and locked in $80 on that really nice flush. And the best part about it, all below both entries. That's always what I want the most out of a trade is making money on all the entries we give. Then went sideways for a long time and you could kind of see the top and the bottom of this consolidation move. So... I went ahead and I put a stop in at 52.86, which was just slightly above the top of this consolidation. I was looking for down towards 52 on the remaining 25 shares if it could make that move. But uh, unfortunately, it could not break much lower than where we got our earlier covers. And it does end up coming up here and stopping me out for these final 25 shares there at 52.86. It actually took a second there before anything filled. Uh, at 86 or above, which is why if you're looking at the level two, it doesn't fill immediately. But there's the fill. It got stopped out there and uh, had a nice trade on that one. So pretty happy with that one overall. It ended up just kind of from there. It did come back down a little bit, but still not even back down towards the lows of the previous move. So that's it for me today. Pretty good day overall, especially when you consider we started down $40 to end up uh, about 1.30 on the day, I will take that when you start red on the day. So still kind of slow out there in the market, slower than I'd like it, but finding some opportunities and hitting them when they come my way. So hopefully we can just keep stacking these green days up as we go throughout the rest of January and uh, move on from there. So as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. See you later.